Hello everybody. So in my attempt to make this kind of an all-in-one gaming machine, I wanted to know if I could get my Xbox Game Pass games on here in any sort of capacity. Um, unfortunately, you can't just download an Xbox app and download your games from Game Pass, but you can get Xbox Cloud Gaming working on here pretty much natively. And today I just wanted to go through the steps on how you can get that set up so by the end of this video, you can be streaming your games from your Game Pass. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is boot out into the desktop mode. And then once you're there, you're gonna click on the discovery software just down here the little shopping bag and you'll go to applications and internet and then you can either type in here edge <clears throat> which will bring it up there's a beta version so I already have it installed so that's why just the Microsoft Edge pops up and I can install it you want to install the one that says beta um, down at the bottom of the E, which if I go to my installed, you'll see Microsoft Edge beta. So that's the first step. You're gonna wanna get that installed. Once you've got that added, you're gonna want to get it added to your Steam library. So you can exit out of here, um, bring up Steam, and you will want to go to games, add non-library, and then you'll go and find Edge, which is here. You'll click it and then hit add. So click it, add selected program. I already have it added, so I'm not gonna do that right now, um, but that's what you'll do. Click the one, add, and then you're good to go. So once you've got those on there, that's gonna make it so you can pull it up when you're in gaming mode um, a lot easier. So the next step is probably the most important one. It's gonna allow the Edge browser to use the Steam Deck's controls, which you have to do at a system level. It's not gonna be able to do it on its own. It's by default gonna be using maybe just the mouse trackpad, and even then it's not the best. Um, this is where I was really worried that maybe you can't actually play uh, xCloud on this but this is gonna let you do that. So what you're gonna have to do is go down to the little Steam uh, application launcher here and you go to system and you'll hit console, console with a K. You're gonna bring that up. <clears throat> and in this box, you're going to type. Okay, so if you've got it all typed in, this should be exactly what you're typing in. It'll drop to the next line when you hit enter. If it doesn't, it has an error, just make sure you go back, make sure you got everything right, got the right spacing and everything, and then hit enter again, and hopefully it'll work. So now that you've done that, Edge can use the Steam controls, which we will set up later, but it's gonna give it access to that to make it easier to set up later. So that's perfect. Once you got that, you can exit out of here. So the next step is to set up Edge Browser to launch the xCloud website and give it the perfect parameters for the windows to launch so that it, uh, when it's in gaming mode, it basically just fills the screen as an app and you don't have to do any finagling, it's just ready to go. That's what makes it kind of feel like a native app. So to do that, you're gonna wanna open Steam again. You're gonna go down to um, here. So this is, this is a little ahead of the game right now but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get this all looking like this. But for now, um, this down here is gonna be uh, Microsoft Edge, generally, um, which you will open and you will hit this little cog wheel to manage, and you're gonna go to properties. And all of this, don't need to worry about. You can change the name. This is where you would change it to the Xbox Cloud Gaming if you want to do that. You can keep it Edge, Beta, whatever you want to do. I just think it looks cool. It looks like a nice app if you do this. So you can rename it. And then down here in this Launch Options window, we're going to do another set of dialogue to basically set those parameters. So you'll kind of scroll over. This is where it's gonna end. Um, this at, at, you, at, at um, area. 
everything on this side is what you're gonna type in, which I'm gonna um, highlight here, but I'll put it in the video at the bottom with the right you know, spacing and everything. So you're gonna type that into the launch window. Once that is done, you can click out of it and it should be good to go. Um, and right now, if you want, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can get these Xbox logos, the Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta, and I think there's one more which will do kind of the um, game box art for it in gaming mode. So if you want to make it look like this, you're going to download those images from the description um, and basically you'll click here um, since there's nothing there it'll say add a file you'll browse so that's kind of where i've got it um, so we'll cancel that and once you've got this little logo set that's going to be this guy down here and then if you want to set this guy there is clear custom or set custom logo. You'll do that. You'll find it wherever you ended up downloading it. And this is the one that I don't know, set a custom artwork. Yeah. So banner might work for that one. Open. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so once you get all of these set, then it's just, gonna look nice it's gonna be an Xbox cloud gaming beta it's gonna have the artwork and everything so it's it's a native app essentially at this point point. and before you go back into gaming mode you're gonna want to set the controller layout that this app is gonna use so you're gonna go to the app in your Steam library you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to manage and you're going to go to controller layout click on that And it's going to bring up this menu. Um, we that what it's set at right now is what you're going to use is the game pal, uh, gamepad with mouse trackpad. Um, that's not going to be the default. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the default will be for you, but what you're going to want to do, I think it's just going to be like mouse trackpad or something like that. Um, what you're going to do is hit X, um, as you can see down there, browse configs and you will there's templates on the side here and you can navigate to them until you find your gamepad with mouse trackpad and you will hit okay and basically it'll import it so that you will now have gamepad with mouse trackpad as your controller setup and that's all you need to do at this point now, you can go into gaming mode and you will be able to launch this and play xCloud. Click back into game mode. And probably won't have this in your recent played yet. So you'll want to hit the Steam logo, go to your library and go to your non-Steam games in which you will go to Cloud Gaming and you'll hit play. Get a little bit of a loading screen. And there you have it. You officially have your setup Game Pass, uh, xCloud Game Pass library. At this point, you'll go over to the icon here, log in with your information and you should be good to go as long as you have game pass obviously and you can pretty much launch any of these games or you can launch any of these games and they will work just fine so there you have it xbox game cloud running natively on your steam deck so how does it perform well let's take a look
And as you can see, it runs really well. Now, you can't just download it to your Steam Deck and have it on the go, unfortunately, so you do need an internet connection to, to run this. But it does give you a whole library of stuff that you don't necessarily need to download, so it leaves space for your Steam Deck for other games. Um, and it's just kind of a nice solution for hopping into something. And it also kind of opens up some doors, especially to multiplayer games that are on here that may not necessarily be ready for the Steam Deck yet, as far as the anti-cheat goes. So that does kind of give you some more options in that realm. I just think it's a really good add for the system. And if you have a Steam Deck, I do highly recommend setting this up so that you have this option. If you are a Game Pass subscriber, obviously. Um, but yeah. What do you think down below? Is that something that you would add to your Steam Deck? Or are you not a fan of Game Pass? I can understand some people not being a fan, but really I like that it has a whole library of stuff that I may necessarily not try. It's there. I can just hop into it, see if I like it. If I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. I keep going. Um, I did spend the last week playing uh, Guardians of the Galaxy on this thing. I had zero issue. Uh, other than some glitching, but I think that was more on the game side than, than the actual streaming to this. It felt solid. It was very responsive. Um, I beat the game without any trouble. So I feel like that's a really good testament. It's a pretty fast paced game, not necessarily really precision or anything like that, but still a lot of heavy input and it worked just fine. Thank you for watching everybody. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, why not subscribe? If you have any questions about the Steam Deck that you want me to kind of visit, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to see what you think down there. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.